stick around to the end of the video to find out why I did this. What's up everyone, welcome back. So about a year ago, we did a gear review on one of these, the Campy Gear 2-in-1 outdoor heater and stove. Um, we compared this with the Mr. Heater Buddy, which I've been using because I took this one out one time and it blew up. And a lot of people commented on the video saying I wasn't using the right uh, air fuel mixture. There's a switch on the side. Um, I was, uh, the company actually saw the video, reached out to me and replaced it. Um, but this has been sitting on my workbench for probably a year now and I just have not gotten around to reviewing it. So I haven't even opened it. So let's do an uh, unboxing and um, hook this thing up and see if it works because it is 26 degrees right now and my hands are freezing. So hopefully this one works. And uh, I've been going with the Mr. Heater Buddy lately uh, just because of what happened with this but let's give him a second shot. So instructions, got the handle. It comes in a case. Let's get rid of that guy. Uh, the one I originally got, it came with a hose so you could put it on a bigger uh, propane tank, but um, the other one kind of is hidden. And this, it's it's uh, goes underneath. It screws directly in, so you can't use the big green ones. So you gotta use like just the eight ounce one. So I got the jet boil one that we'll use today. Ooh, this thing is cold. Thing working fast because it is cold. All right, for the air valve on it, you can see. So we got to play with it and find the right mixture. Um, it's a really easy setup. Actually, I gotta find the, find the holes for it. Very easy setup. Propane just screws into the bottom. It's a little lighted. I didn't hear it. No, I smell it. Take this off to light it. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Nope, it's doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, these are junk. Um, so no second chance for me. Uh, two-in-one campy gear heater stove, thumbs down. 
So I don't know if you can catch that because it's daytime, but the flames just came out, so it doesn't keep a steady flame in here. This is my second one. Um, yeah, no, these things are trash. And then, let's see if I can. It looks like the valve's a little farther in on this model. I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, let's mess with it. So, let's get the most air into it. It's wide open. They heat it up, so now the vent on the top won't open. not a really clean flame um, it's not like a normal propane I don't know what's up with the regulator in this thing um, yeah I'm not gonna be using this thing again this is probably going in the trash when I get home the top won't open it just bent Beware when you're buying a heater, so we'll stick with the Mr. Heater Buddy. This thing is uh, not that good. It's not even putting off a lot of heat either. So you can feel it right to about, about that far away. And I, don't even, I don't even feel heat out the top and the vents open. There's like a very, very little breeze right now too, so... Like the plants aren't even moving. All right. So if you guys want to see the video of when I went camping and the thing really blew up on me, um, I was thinking it may have been the altitude when it happened. But again, I reached out to them after they um, saw the video. Actually, I'm sorry. They emailed me after they saw the video and I contacted them and let them know exactly what happened. So they said they're sorry. It was probably something with the regulator and they sent me a brand new one. And again, I haven't touched this thing in a year because I'm just like, eh, whatever. Um, so I'll put that video right up here on the right. Uh, also, if you want to see us do a gear review on this and Mr. Heater Buddy, I'll put that video up on the right as well. So the air fuel mixture was right in the middle when I lit it and it was having that issue again. It's on max now for air. But um, it just doesn't sound right um, for a normal heater. Um, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, I'm uh, not going to be using this thing anymore. And just the fact that I can put my hand right here above it. And there's no heat. That thing's on full blast. Nothing. little bit there does not put out a lot of radiant heat Did I have it on max I I do. there's not even a limit on it so I if I open it all the way you can hear it kind of messing around yeah so if I want a heater that says caution hot on here I probably shouldn't be able to hold my hand two inches away from it and barely feel anything like it. Let's see. And the metal's hot. Oh, and the flame went out. Cool. So, flame's out. Let's turn this thing off. And let's go find a trash can. Piece of junk. If you enjoy our videos and you enjoy our gear reviews be sure to like and subscribe to this video or subscribe to our channel i should say um sorry still getting my coffee in me and my hands are cold because that thing's a piece of crap and doesn't work so we got a few more gear reviews on there and if you enjoy fishing and anything outdoors and camping and stuff like that then give our channel a subscribe all right until next time get outside